What's up guys? This is Ice. Um my third After Effects tutorial. Uh so yeah, um, it's gonna be on a transition and the effect that's actually what it actually is, it's CC blah 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 and the only thing bad about it is that you do need uh to download the Psycore effects pack. It's it's simple to get but that's just like the only requirement for this, um, but not a big deal. Uh, so if you don't have that yet, definitely go get it. Cause there's also other stuff in that in that uh, pack that is just great to have. So yeah. Um, so to do this transition, what you're gonna need to do is. You're gonna need to have uh, two clips, obviously, and um, right now I'm just using. I actually used this clip in the last tutorial. Too lazy to get another one. Um, and pretty much what it is is just like the trick shot and then the final kill cam. But anyway, you're gonna make them overlap a little bit, but make sure where they're overlapping, nothing important. So. Make sure like the trick shot doesn't start yet. So like you, you see like trick shot doesn't actually start to like over here. And for the bottom clip, um trick shot's already ended. So make sure nothing important in this little area right here. That's where the uh transition's gonna be. So yeah. Um so what you need to do is you're just gonna type in CC blah blah and gonna grab it and just put it on the top layer the top uh, clip and go ahead and put the hit the uh, arrow on blobbiness and so you can already kind of see what this does kind of like forms the clip in blobs if that makes sense and so yeah so first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna go to the beginning to where the transition starts and you're gonna keyframe both the softness and the cutaway so like if you look at this pretty much what the softness does is like kinda like it, it makes the softness of the, the actual blobs themselves so that's kinda of like like rough and then this is like gooey and stuff but for right now you're gonna make that zero and you're gonna make the cutaway well the cutaway is pretty much you can just see this like brings in the clip so that's pretty much what the transition is gonna be based on but for right now you're gonna make this a um, hundred so you don't see the clip at all the next clip then you're gonna go to the end of this uh, little this little overlap area um and what you're gonna do is you're gonna make another keyframe and make it make the softness 15 and then make the cutaway all the way down to zero so you can kind of see that so that's that's pretty much the transition right there I could just kind of scrub through to show you guys so yeah it kind of just like forms the clip in blobs but the only problem is that now the entire clip is in blobby form so just to fix that all I need to do is um, go uh, right after the last keyframe so that's like right here um, you're gonna go one frame forward and what you're gonna do is you're gonna make the softness up to 500 and that's that's the highest you can make it. You can't make it much. You can't make it any higher. And so pretty much what that does is it makes it normal. So there's no blob left. So yeah, that's pretty much the um, transition. So what happens is it just kind of forms in blobs, and then kind of like snaps back to like regular view once it completes. So. Yeah.
that's about it. Um, you guys can go ahead and like play with the light and like the light intensity, whatever you want to do with that. I haven't used this, used like the light or anything on this effect, so I really don't really know what what this does. So I'm not gonna tell you guys what to do for this. Just experiment what looks best. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much this tutorial. Um, so yeah, this is a very short tutorial. Um, but I haven't seen this effect. I haven't seen any tutorials on this effect. Any, I haven't even really seen it in any montages. So, not an overused effect, obviously. Um, so that's good, because I really hate like overused effects. How people just use it over and over, and it's kind of like, kind of like makes the effect bad if you put it in. So, um, yeah. Uh, um, what should I say? Oh, uh, I have finals this week, guys, and, uh, a little bit next week, until, like, Wednesday, and so I'm just trying to stay active by putting up tutorials, but after finals, school is over, so, um, I'll be posting a lot of stuff, tutorials, edits, everything, um, so definitely subscribe for that, uh, and also, also obviously like the video uh favorite comment oh yeah comment anything that you guys want me to do because if not then i don't really know like what people want me to do so definitely do that um so yeah uh Um, what else? What else? Yes, I don't really know what to say, but so just wait this out. Um, so you got so I can just uh, show you guys the effect. Sorry for taking so long to preview but yeah uh. what time is it 513 alright so anyway that's the effect and then so I'm just gonna quickly show this to you guys uh, this is the first clip and then kinda like blobs in it was pretty quick, so when you guys are doing this, you could obviously like drag out the keyframes to make it uh, so you guys get, like it's a little bit more visible. But yeah, so that's uh, pretty much it. Thanks for watching, guys, and uh, like, favorite, subscribe, comment, everything good, and peace.